Welcome back everybody to For Goodness Take. Today, we have Northwestern men's basketball commit, Brooks Barnheiser. Brooks, how are you today? I'm good, how are you? Good, thank you. So today we're gonna to talk some basketball, banter back and forth and all that good stuff. To kick it off, what is your earliest memory of basketball? Um. My earliest member of basketball was probably um, uh, just probably like playing in like the YMCA league when you're really little. Um, I think my first memories is watching my brother playing and thinking like you know I want to play too. So just those you know the little school games and like those little preschool games that you used to play at the YMCA. You think you're better than your brother? <laughs> uh, you know I think I think we're about the same. He's 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 really good too. So I I, I would call it a draw. Okay. When did you realize you can go somewhere with basketball? Um, uh, just from um, a young age, I always thought that, um, you know, that, I mean, it, I kind of bloomed in the last few years, um, just like, with, you know, I grew a little bit and, um, you know, I just got a little more athletic, but uh, I would say probably like two or three years ago, I, um, just, you know, going to tournaments and playing pretty well, I just always thought that, you know, I could, you know, I can, I can do whatever. Um, you know, I could be successful with basketball. I just got to put it in the work. And, um, you know, my dad just taught me that. So I would just say once I started um, just maturing and I got pretty good, I just really thought that I could go somewhere. Okay. Did you play in the gauntlet, the circuit, the EYBL, any of those big three? Mm -hmm. I kind of, yeah, I played in the gauntlet kind of um, up through my whole AAU days. Um, and I, I lived in Alabama for, th uh, for three years. And um, I played with a team called the Birmingham Storm. And, uh, we were like a pretty good um, team. I think I played with them my eighth and ninth grade year, and we were on the gauntlet. And um, you know, I, like uh, we had some really, uh, really good athletes on that team. A lot of them don't even play basketball anymore, but like kids like Kool Aid McKinstry, um, Cam. We had a lot of we had a lot of uh, really good athletes on there. But then this year, up here, I played for Indiana Elite. So um, even though the gauntlet got canceled this year, um, I played on it last year. Who's been the hardest player you've ever guarded in the circuit? Ooh, um, one player that's really this was really tough to guard in the circuit was a uh, Frank Anselm. Um, he even though he's on an EYBL team, uh, see we played them. Um, I think I was ninth grader. Yeah, I was a ninth grader, and they're really good. And he was really tough. He's going to Syracuse now, but he was really tough to guard. He shifted pretty badly. <laughs> no, he's actually a big man, so he just he's like six ten. He can run. He was just. We didn't have anybody that could guard him in there. Okay. He's a D1 athlete. You're a D1 athlete. So what was the recruiting process for you like? And why did you commit to Northwestern amongst the other schools? Yeah, uh, the, the process was pretty good. Um, just, you know, it was, I would like to say it was, it was kind of not long, but I mean, it really, like, it does kind of drag on you a little bit. I mean, it's, like, really a really cool experience. And, I, and like, it was really fun. I loved it. But, you know, you just – it's just really hard because, you know, the more schools that start targeting you, um, you know, the more schools you're going to have to say no to. And that was, um, that was really tough, like, just to just tell people no and stuff. But because I had developed really good relationships with, you know, Butler, Western Kentucky, Xavier, and, um, you know, the other schools that recruited me as well as Northwestern. But, you know, I ultimately chose Northwestern because, you know, I really think they have a connection with Coach Collins and, um, you know, um, just the education that you can get in Northwestern is really, really good. I think it's like ranked the ninth um, university uh, and just like the nation just for ac uh, academic like purposes and stuff. So and I just really thought it was the best, uh, best of both worlds. And, you know, in basketball, uh, when the ball stops bouncing for me, I'll be able to, you know, have a successful career outside of the sport. Was there a close second behind Northwestern or once you made up your mind, it was definitely Northwestern? Um, I I would say that there was, I would say that um, Western Kentucky and Xavier were uh, probably the Western Kentucky and Xavier were probably the two uh, schools behind Northwestern that were um, you know up there just because I had developed really good relationships with their coaching staffs. But yeah, but those I would say those three and Butler too. So those four were my main four for sure. Who in the Big Ten are you most excited to play? That's a good question. Ah, uh, you know it's gonna be uh, fun because I actually live in Lafayette, so. You know, coming back to play Purdue, which is 10 minutes from my house in West Lafayette, will be fun. Um, playing at IU will be fun. And, you know, a lot of teams, uh, 
the Michigan State's like three five stars in the last two weeks. So, you know, it'll be fun to play other teams like that. So, um, you know, pretty fun. You know, the Indiana teams will be fun to play too. So, yeah, those those three would be fun. The Big Ten's been on fire with recruiting. Indiana got Christian Le- Le- uh, Lander, as you just said. Michigan State got the three five stars. Northwestern's getting a ton of guys. So how is Northwestern, once you come, going to be over the edge, over the top against those other teams? Mm, uh, I think they, um, you know, everybody, when they think of Northwest, um, you know, just basketball, they just really think of, you know, the last few years. They've been, uh, like, when they just got to the tournament with McIntosh and, um, you know, Vic Law and those guys. But, you know, they're always going to be the underdog because, you know, they're looked at as an academic school in the Big Ten and, um you know, it may, you know, a lot of people think it's a football school. And, uh, but, you know, just all of the sports in general, just kind of, you know, everybody thinks that they're, you know, they're a smaller school, so they can't really compete. Um, but, you know, but I really think that they've shown in the last few years that they can. So when our, like us guys get there, I just think that, you know, we just got to go in the mindset that, you know, we're going to be an underdog no matter what we do. So, you know, I just really think that the three guys that we sign in our class will be ready to fight. And, you know, we're just looking forward to the challenge. So I think that, you know, just us being hungry will, Put us over the edge. Northwestern is also uh, prioritizing Patrick Baldwin. So if you guys could land him, sure. that would be crazy. Yeah, yeah. If we, if we can get Pat, if we can get Pat Baldwin, that would be really good for us because I think he's, you know, number two in the nation, one and done guy for sure. Man, yeah. So that would be really, that would be really cool if we could get Pat for sure. Have you reached out to him at all? Yeah, I, I've reached out to Pat um, a few times. You know, and he's, you know, he's. He's really, really good. So I think he's like, I think his top four is like Milwaukee, where his dad coaches, Duke, um, somebody else in Northwestern. So, you know, it, it'll be fun to see where he goes. I think the fourth is Northwestern, actually. It's yeah, like yeah. Milwaukee, Northwestern, Duke, and I already is said Northwestern. Is it, yeah, I is, think it's, I think it's a, I'm is, is it North right Carolina, maybe? It's, it's somebody that, um, it's like, it's either Kentucky or. I think it's another blue blood, but I'm not I sure. I think it's but, North Carolina. I think it's North Carolina. Yeah, North Carolina. Carolina. Yeah, North Carolina, Duke, uh, Northwest Milwaukee. So, you know, we're in the mix. So, it'll be fun to see what happens. For sure. Hopefully, lands in the Big Ten, changes things up a little bit. For sure. For sure. A big part of your game is your ability to knock down threes after threes after threes. So, if you could splash a three-pointer in anybody's face, who would it be? Uh, man. I don't even know. That's a good question. Um, like anybody ever? How about or, one NBA player and anybody ever? Give me one of each. Okay. One NBA player. Maybe like it would be cool to hit like a shot on LeBron, you know, just because he's LeBron. Um, but, you know, other than anybody that's not in the NBA, who maybe like – that's what I'm trying to think. Man. I don't know, maybe like a guy like um, Lamelo Ball, just like you know somebody that's that uh, you know about to about to be an NBA player, but just enough and come with that. That'd be cool to just hit a shot on them. Tell your kids you hit a shot on somebody like that for sure. Speaking of the NBA, let's say you're the two on an NBA team. You get to choose four current mm-hmm. NBA players to build around you. What four players are you going to build around you to make a championship team? Okay, so if I was going to make like a super team or a championship team at the point. Man, okay, if I'm the two. Okay, so I think at the point I'm gonna go. I think I'm gonna go Curry. Is it? Cause you know you gotta choose. Cause I think the two best point guards in the league are Curry and Damian Lillard. So I'm gonna go Curry for the one. Um, and at the three, you gotta go with uh, you gotta go with LeBron. Um, the four probably probably Giannis. Uh, and then at the five, you know I'm uh, I'm gonna go with uh. Nikola Jokic, because he Ooh. can pass. So I'll be, and he's he's pretty good. Either either Jokic or Gobert, because that's defense too. So I'll go with Jokic. I'll go with Jokic. What do you think that team's record is gonna be? Uh, that team's record, man. Just with those four guys, man. I, I would definitely gotta win seventy games. I would say, <laughs> most definitely. What would your role on the team be? Just stand in the corner and wait for the ball. <laughs> just pass. Yeah, just pass. <laughs> Just give it to those guys and get out of the way. <laughs> you sound like a big LeBron guy. Do you think LeBron's the GOAT? 
this is actually this is actually a weird. I'm actually not a big LeBron guy. Like, I mean, he's great, but uh, you know, I think uh, Michael Jordan is the um, best of play, like the best player ever. But I think LeBron is definitely a top top five player ever. But yeah, I'm definitely an MJ guy. MJ, I think MJ is the best uh, to ever live. I think I think MJ is the greatest, but LeBron's the best. Two different things. Like, I I, feel you. I, I get that. I get too. that. Yeah, but uh, MJ's the GOAT, though, just by yeah. what he did. I agree, because, you know, I mean, LeBron, I think LeBron's more, like, complete, you know, just 6'9", can shoot, pass, do all of that. But uh, I definitely think uh, Jordan has him in just the GOAT debate, for sure. I think what also separates MJ from LeBron is that MJ was a cover of 2K12, which is one of my favorite 2Ks ever. <laughs> Speaking mm-hmm. of 2K, 2K20, are you playing that on Xbox X or PS5? Ooh, that's a good question. I've always been an Xbox guy, but the thing is, a lot of my friends up here, um, you know, in Alabama, a lot of a lot of people played uh, Xbox, and then actually in, up here, everybody plays PS4. So now, I might I might have to stay true to my roots and just keep the Xbox. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with PS5 personally. I yeah, think the controller thanks. just feels so much nicer. Thanks, thanks. Yeah, because. I think PlayStation is probably a more popular choice nowadays, but I think I'm going to stay true with my roots. For I sure. hope they make like an NCAA basketball 2K21 right. or something. Mm-hmm. Like bring back uh, bring back football and basketball. That would be fun for mm-hmm. sure. If you were in the game, what overall do you think you'd be? Man, as a freshman, probably not that high. You know, maybe in the 70s. But, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you know, hopefully if – um. We're going by like senior year, hopefully being the eighty somewhere, something like that. What badges are you gonna get? Who uh that's a good question. That's um let's see. Okay, I would say I would say dimer. I think that I can facilitate pretty good. I'll go I'll go three for each category. So I'll go dimer. So for playmaking we'll go dimer, we'll go needle threader, and then we'll go We'll go Florida General. And then Hall of Fame, team, gold, bronze, ooh, silver. Here we go. Uh, for Dimer, definitely. I'll go I'll go gold. Needle Threader, I'll go silver. And then for Florida General, I'll go silver. Um, but uh, for finishing, I, I, I caught a few bodies. We'll go, we'll go bronze. Well, we'll go silver, contact. We'll go, um, mm, Man, we'll go we'll go slithery. We'll go bronze slithery. And then man, I'm trying to think of another finishing badge. Mm. There's acrobat, teardropper, post spin technician. We'll, we'll go. We'll go with um and we'll go we'll go with teardropper. We'll go with gold teardropper. So I got a nice photo. And then for shooting. For shooting, we'll go because um, I shot 45 threes this year. So we'll go. I will go. We'll go catch and shoot. Um, we'll go range extender. And we'll go. We'll go silver quick draw or gold quick draw. Jumper's kind of quick. All right, and then we, now we need defense. So we'll go with clamps. Got to go. Got to got to have some clamps. Um, probably probably silver. And then uh, we'll probably go. Mm, I'll go to chase down artists. Um, okay. Probably, probably, probably about silver, gold. Catch it off the glass, and then one more. We'll go. We'll go rebound chaser. Okay. We'll go rebound chaser. That sounds like a pretty good player overall. <laughs> if they had Ho- to, had to I got all right. Hall of Fames. All Hall of Fames. I've seen you. Got to grind to get them Hall of Fames for sure. For sure. Northwestern's purple Hall of Fames purple, so I don't think it's out of the picture. <laughs> So I'm going to switch it up on you. This is called the speed round. I'm going to say a word and you're going to say a phrase, memory, idea, whatever comes to your mind first, do it. You can move just whatever suits you best. Okay. Splash bros. Curry. Best team in Illinois. Northwestern. What do you think the Chicago Bulls have to say about that? I don't know, but uh, Bulls aren't that Bulls aren't that good right now. But uh, <laughs> gotta gotta go Northwestern. Okay, Midwest hoops. Um, Big Ten. Danny Phantom. 
Ooh, best TV show. Best TV best show. TV you, you grew yeah. up watching that? Yeah, Danny fan. I grew up watching that a lot. Okay. Brooks Barnheiser. Um, basketball player. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to switch it up on you one more time. This is called recruitment. Okay. I'm a five-star point guard from Los Angeles, and I narrowed my schools down to four. UCLA, Michigan State, Purdue. And can you guess the fourth one? Northwestern. Northwestern. <laughs> there we so go. So how are you going to convince me to commit to Northwestern so I can form an elite-level backcourt? Okay. Um, if I was – so if I'm trying to get you to come, I would, I would tell you that um, if you went to Northwestern and you had a great career there, it would mean 10 times more to the people of Northwestern than it would mean to the people of UCLA, Purdue, you know, anybody else. Because, um, you know, being a five-star, if you chose Northwestern, you would be, you know, probably one of my top five people they've ever recruited. So I think that, you know, you could create your own legacy at, Northwestern and set the foundation rather than live in the footsteps of Russell Westbrook or, um, you know, uh, Glenn Robinson or Purdue or somebody like that. So, you know, and then you would be set um, educationally after, get a good career, you know, when the ball stops bouncing, but, you know, have a big roll off the bat. So I just think that you could, you know, you just – found the set the foundation of Northwestern that you couldn't do with other places. How are you as a teammate? How am I as a teammate? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm, I think I'm a really good team. Um, this year, uh, uh, like, we had we had a few seniors, but, um, you know, I really think that I lead, and uh, I'm really good at just, you know, getting people the ball in the spots and just, you know, making sure that, uh, you know, holding people accountable and stuff like that. But, you know, I'm definitely, definitely like a player coach from the floor, just trying to help anybody out that I can. Okay. I think I've heard enough. With everything you said, I'm going to commit to the Northwestern University. <laughs> there we go. Go Cats. There we go. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> there it is. That's what I like to hear. Well, this concludes this episode of For Goodness Take. Brooks, thank you so much for being on it. Any final questions or comments? Uh, no, I'm good. Thank you for having me. Of course. Thank you for being on and best of luck to you. Anytime. Thank you. Yep.